think in about five years, you're gonna buy a cup of coffee, and if you try to use real currency, they'll say, what is this? <laughs> Bitcoin has come from virtually nowhere. What Bitcoin was trying to do was make currency that won't be completely run by the government. So people are panicked. It's ridiculous. It's what happened to gold? Maybe you can't put this idea away. The blockchain makes Bitcoin possible. It's the magic. And then people create these altcoins. 1,300 cryptocurrencies. Blockchain. Blockchain is just a bunch of cryptocurrencies that are a scam. Because The widespread proliferation of open source technologies like cryptocurrency and blockchain Dash, digital oh, please, 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 please. Okay. was exactly what hackers had envisioned from the beginning. Can you get your head around this, this figure of 99 years? The full weight of the federal government trying to throw somebody in jail for 100 years who protested. I am a international fugitive in the uh, words of the Department of Justice. We're in a precarious position. The internet is now a tool of central power, but blockchain says it's another way, <laughs> another way. There's a lot of cryptocurrency being moved around by Kenyans. In this refugee camp, in this supermarket, all the transactions are authorized and recorded on a blockchain network. I believe in the power of blockchain. There's an opportunity for us to rethink the music industry how we would like it to be. But trading cryptocurrencies is really dangerous. We'll have people trying to steal funds. We're being it flooded. Okay. This is only going to get crazier. Blockchain is a total reconstruction of behavior. A lot of the stuff is going to go away. It's world changing. You're stupid enough to buy, you'll pay the price for it one day. This is bigger than the it's internet. It's a fraud. The next generation of the internet. The blockchain gives you an actual power to affect change in the world. And it's going to scare the shit out of some very powerful people. What we're trying to stop is simple. We're trying to stop the abuse of power. 